happy Monday Bowflex family! Today we are doing a live 30 minute kettlebell hit workout. I'm here live today on Monday. I'm Amy here with Bowflex and we are doing a 30 minute kettlebell workout but if you don't have a kettlebell you can use a dumbbell, you can keep it body weight, use whatever you've got. We are just here to move today. If you're here say hello. We're getting it done in 30 minutes. Of course, I'm gonna give you lots of different options because that's what I do. So work to your fitness level. You do use what I always say, be where you are today. So this workout is whatever you need it to be. I know for many of us, it's a holiday here in the US. So maybe you're off work. Maybe you're like me and your kids are home from school and you need a little movement for your sanity. Whatever it is, we are going to move together today. So make sure that you have some space. Make sure that you have your kettlebell. I'll be cueing you as we go if we want to go a little heavier, a little lighter, if you have options for that. I'm using my Bowflex 840 Select Tech Adjustable Kettlebell. So I'll be able to turn the tile and go up and down anywhere between 8 and 40 pounds. It's a great tool to have. So I have lots of different options for ranges of weights. Uh, but again, you use whatever you have available to you. So let's go ahead and start moving our bodies we will march it right here. Go ahead and start if you're like me and you got a watch and you want to set it, go for it. You can probably put this on your HIIT workout, your high intensity interval training because that's exactly what we are doing today. So what we're doing today is we're going to start back to basics with some strength and then we're going to put some things together to get some hits. So we will get a little HIIT cardio, but most of our HIIT is going to be from putting things together, getting some compound movements, getting our heart rate up without the jumping or the running or anything that we typically think of when it comes to HIIT and more about getting more muscles, more systems of our body working, more muscles being used, engagement, that is going to get our heart rate up. So I think you'll be surprised. I know a lot of times we see HIIT, we think, oh, I'm going to be jumping, I'm going to be doing burpees, I'm going to be running, but not today. We'll have some cardio mobility where you'll have some options to take it up or down, but for the most part, we're getting it done with just our weights. So taking it out right here, big stretch, open those arms. Whew. I always wake up super tight. I don't know about you, I'm a side sleeper, so I tend to sleep like this. And we're also really tight from here from all that time we spend on our computers, sitting at our desk, looking at our phones. So get that nice big stretch through here. Let's just shift our weight side to side, reach one up, one back right through here. So getting it done today to start our Monday off, right? Let's take it here and let's take it flat back down. So we're going flat. We're going to round it up. Take it flat and round it up. I can't see your comments for some reason on my monitor, but I assume that you are here moving with me today. There they are. All right. Lori is here. Excellent. Kick Mac, Sharon, Dixie. Yes. Excellent. Some of you are in your second workout of the day. I hope some of you have the day off. Let's take it right here. We're going to inchworm it out. So let's take it here. Walk those hands out and then inchworm it back. If that's not right for you, you can take it to your knees or you can take it just a little hinge here just to get that stretch. But if you can, let's walk it out. We get our upper body, our lower body, core engaged. And then we walk it back right through here and up. Take it out to here and take it back. And one more right through here. Holding it here, keeping that core engaged. Let's take a big step through here and then a big reach up through here and then let's alternate that so that world's greatest stretch take your time with it big stretch big opener and then here and reach up one more each way warm it all the way up and through yes team. Go ahead and walk it in. Slowly roll up the back of the legs. All right, right through here. Let's jump, touch, get those arms moving. All right, so we're jumping in with our circuits. And again, we're going to start back to basics. 
Two things, nothing crazy, things you know, things you love, but we're getting it done together to keep that heart rate up as we add that hit. Little knees across right through here. Taking it here. All right, team, so let's go ahead and start. Grab that kettlebell. We're gonna start on something medium to heavy. So I'm gonna go just with my 20 right through here. And we're gonna start with a goblet squat. So if you can, we're here, you know this, super simple, we often start with it because it's a really good warm up movement for our bodies. Or if it feels better, you can have that kettlebell down here or you can even flip your grip. It's harder to do if you got it heavier and hold it here. So let's get it done, core engage. We got 40 seconds of work in three, two, one. Here we go, sit low, drive it up right here. Sit low, drive it up, whoo! So you're already gonna feel those arms. Again, you can be here, push up through those heels. Nice parallel squat, if you need to turn those knees out a bit, you can find what feels best for you. Halfway there, drive it up. So this is our parallel squat, but again, if you need to turn out a bit, whatever feels good for you. Form is so much more about what works for your body as long as you're safe and it's effective. Last one, and breathe, woo! Already feeling those arms on that, but this time, we're gonna take it to a curl and a press. And again, you can flip it or you can have it here, up, up, down, and down. Then, of course, we'll put them together. Maybe we'll add a little clean. Why not? Curl and press in three, two, one. Up, up, down, and down. Take it here. Making sure that your core is engaged. What do I mean by that? Is sometimes, especially when we go over our head, we tend to arch a little bit, but even with that curl. So if you need to stagger, take it here. That will help, but also just really think about pulling in and lifting up on that core and pelvic floor. That way we have that stable base for when we go over our head and really when we're adding any weight, we wanna make sure that we have a stable base. Three, two, one, and relax. Ooh, I'm glad I put that on the 20 because I am feeling it, team. All right, so we are back to the top. We're gonna put those together now. You have two options. This is your hit round. You can squat at the bottom, curl, press at the top, or if you're feeling fancy, clean, squat, and press. Join me here, here we go. Squat, curl, up, and press. Or take it clean, it's a little toss to yourself. Sit low and press. Either way, getting that heart rate up, getting the hit, but we're getting all of those movement patterns we just did, right? So we're getting our curl, right? Curl motion, squat, and then our press. Whatever works for you. If the clean is not right for you, and up. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Yes, team. Woo, stretch it back right through here. Oh, you can lock that up if you want. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna wait in just a minute. In between team, like I said, we're gonna get some cardio mobility. I want those palms to the back, stretching back as we do some hamstrings. So just a little 30 second interval here. So we keep the heart rate up, we get that hit, but it's mobility too. You're getting the stretch, an active stretch. So you can just keep it right here. If you're feeling it, you can pick up that pace. Totally up to you. If you wanna add a little impact, you can do that too, but I want you to focus on Getting the stretch as well. Whew. Palms turning up, thumbs to the back, opening up the chest and shoulders, but also getting that nice good stretch through the biceps. For three, for two, for one, grab some water team. All right, there's that heart rate, right? Are you feeling it? I know I am, up to 150. Let's take it to our next round. Here's what we got, team. We're gonna take it to a side lunge. We're gonna alternate right and left. We're gonna alternate a row from the ground with that kettlebell. Then we're gonna put them together, but we're gonna get 30 seconds, right? 
30 seconds left to keep that heart rate up. So go ahead. You can probably go heavy with this again. I'm going to stick with my 20. We're going to keep that kettlebell low. As we alternate, you can have two hands here, or you can hand it off. Cross here, hand it off in the center, cross here. Join me here in three, two, one. Here we go. Shift your weight into that side lunge, push out of it. So remember with our side lunge, we're shifting into that bent leg. I want you to actually shift your weight this way and then push out of it. It's not just a side step, it's a weight shift. And watch me here. We do a little hinge, right? So that chest can come forward, but we're keeping that back nice and flat. Here to here. And drive it out. It's kind of nice when we alternate, right? This is all about the weight shift. Here. Push it out. So you're actually hanging out. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, something medium to heavy because these back muscles, our lats are pretty strong. I'm going to keep my kettlebell in front. Alternate. Set it down if you can because having to pull from the floor is going to up that challenge. Let's wrap the core. Here we go. I like to often take that other hand out because that helps me keep a nice flat back. But you don't have to. And if pulling from the floor isn't good for you, just hand off in the center. Flat back, right here. And you can turn into it. Notice my palm is to the back and then I'm bringing my elbow up for the lat. Up to you. Pull the weight towards the hip bone, towards your side, while we pull those shoulder blades in. And breathe. Three, two, one, and relax. Woo, all right, all right, here we go, team. So we're gonna take it side to side. We're taking it all on the right, then all on the left, we're putting them together. So my left hand has the kettlebell, I'm stepping to the right. I'm going here, row, push out of it, then same side. So 30 seconds here, then we'll go right into our next round. Here we go. So, it's only 30 seconds. We won't get very many, but the idea is that we'll really isolate that hip, that outer thigh on that side, and then that one side of your back. <sighs> Breathe. Right through here. Heart rate should get up. Yes. <sighs> Can we get one more on this side? Yes. Other side, let's just jump right into it. Here we go. Pull it up. And here. Take it down. Pull it up. And here. Ha. And drive it up. Pull the weight towards the hip while you hang out in that side lunge. That's what I love about this combo is it forces us to stay low Right here, let's get one more. Right? Do you feel that? I know that's me at 155, right? Doesn't matter if you don't have a watch or you're not tracking it. Listen to how you feel. Pay attention to how you feel. That heart rate is up, and we weren't jumping at all, were we, right? All right, team, set that kettlebell to the side. We're going to take it a little mobility. Take it out right here. Whoo, so we open up the hips, right? And then we also stretch through that back. Super simple. I know it looks a little silly, but do you feel that opener stretch through your back? Hip opener, it's kind of like that piriformis stretch that we do. It's a great one to do after any side lunge, curtsy lunge, and anything with your back. 10 seconds right here. Then we grab some water. We got five, four, three, to breathe water and then guess what team we're going to take it to a little deadlift and maybe a little swing so it's going to be our own short circuit of back to basics into hit so here we go team we are starting with just your hinge now you can usually go pretty heavy on this so i'm gonna up my weights to my 25. see how easy that was <laughs> All right, team, so shoulders back, we're here, and then we drive it up. So 
Thinking of driving the hips to the back, standing up straight, connecting with that core, not hyper extending. We're starting with just the deadlift. This is your prep work for your swing. And then you can stay here if that's better for you. Here we go. Here, stand it up. Take it here, all the way up. Shoulders stay back. And I want you to think tight in those armpits and in your back. So we're not lifting, but when you really think about pulling back with the shoulders, see how that activates the lats all up through the back of the body. <sighs> helps keep you from rounding as you go down and then really helps you engage all the way through with that deadlift. Relax team. All right, so you can keep just that. That is a great option. If you're comfortable doing the swing or you've done a swing before or you wanna try it, here's what we're looking for. Same setup motion with our hinge. Then we're gonna power it up. You're actually swinging the kettlebell up, locking glutes and hamstrings, locking out of the top with the core and then letting it drop. All right, it's not a squat and a lift. It's a hinge, power up, lock it out, let it drop, repeat. All right, team, shoulders back. Let's get it done. Hinge it here. Kettlebell right in the center. We're going to hike it back for three, two, one. Power. Let it drop. 30 seconds right here. It's helpful to use your breath. Pushing through those feet. Kettlebell does not have to come high. We're not looking to go over our head or really over our shoulders. Think chest level or below. Let it drop. Lift up on that core as you lock it out and breathe. We got five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Woo. Pedal those feet, team. Catch your breath. We're going to take it to the mat for a little circuit down below. Woo. I'm going to take it, grab some water. I'm going to take it a little bit lighter for this. All right, team. So. Join me down on the mat. Here's what we got, team. We're going to get a little close grip press so we get our chest and shoulders and lots of triceps, right? Especially being close. Then we're going to rest that weight. We're going to take it to a bridge. Then we're going to put them together. We may even add a little march. So hit in the sense that we're going to get a lot of things working together. It may not feel quite the same, but you're going to feel it. I promise. Here we go. Close press. Elbows in, straight up above the chest. From here, I want you to think about tucking the pelvis to engage the core. Lift up on that pelvic floor. And then as you come up, get some power. Right through here. Get some power. A little tip, you can push your hands into the kettlebell towards it, as long as you feel safe doing that. That's going to help activate all of those upper body push muscles. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it down. All right, team, so you can just have your weight there and just lift up body weight bridge. If you wanna rest the kettlebell on top of the legs, if that feels comfortable for you, or right here, it's up to you. I know it's not necessarily easy to hold the kettlebell the way it is with the dumbbells, so you do what feels best for you, let's get 40 seconds up and down. If you can find a way to keep it here, up and down right here. Squeezing in those glutes, lifting in the hamstrings. I know we just work them with that swing, so I know you're feeling it, right? Whoo, breathe. And up. Yes, you can, team. We got 10 seconds. Woo, glutes. Especially if you got that weight. I know, team. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, set it to the side. Little hamstring stretch. Yes. All right, team. Here's what we got. All right, we're going to put them together. Lots of power. Slowly down. Lots of power. Slowly down. If you're feeling fancy. Power, one knee comes in. Power, one knee comes in. But make sure that you feel comfortable with that because you've got the weight. Let's get it done for 40 seconds. Hit, putting them together in three, two, one. And here. Lift and push. 
glutes, hamstrings, lots of core. And then if you want knee, you gotta watch where that kettlebell is. Just isolating one side of the glute and hamstring and then obviously putting you a little bit off balance, right? And here, drive it up. Core engaged. Feeling those arms, I don't know about you. Also the glutes. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Woo, team. All right, let's get a little stretch through here. We're gonna go back up onto our feet, but before we do, since we were just working those hamstrings so much, how about we get a little core right through here. We're gonna gently pull in. It is your scissors. If that is not right for your core, you just get the stretch and switch. If you can, extend one leg out. Let's take it here. Here we go, 40 seconds. Pull in for two. Your shoulders can be up or down. If you're up, I want you to think about wrapping the core, tucking the pelvis, even if you're not up, but making sure we're keeping that space with the chin, looking forward and breathe. It's a little bit of core while we get stretched. We're thinking this is our, this is our mobility, right? Woo. Keep it moving. 10 seconds, strong core, stretched hamstrings. Five, four, three, two, one. Hug the knees in. Woo. All right, team, come up on to your feet. Woo. All right, so let's take that. We're going to take it to a little slinger. I know Dixie loves these. I hope everybody else does too. Here's what we got, team. We're gonna take it, slinger curl looks like this, 30 seconds each side. You're slinging to the side. So we're getting shoulders, we're getting biceps, we're getting core. Sling and catch. We'll get right side, left side. Then we're gonna alternate our lunge. Then, just like our side lunge and row, we'll put some things together for 30 seconds. All right, let's take it here. Right side, slinging to the left. If that's not right for you, Watch me, you can just take two hands across or you can have one hand on the bottom of the kettlebell. As you sling, it doesn't actually have to be a sling, it can just be a curl, use that other hand for support. Either way, let's take it here in three, two, one. Lori loves them too, take it here and bring it back. Take it here and back. Sling it, catch, right through here. So you're turning, pivoting on your knees and hips, and then catching. So we get that core engaged. Right here, yes. And breathe. Only going 30 seconds each. Let's take it right here. Let's switch our sides. So zip up that core, stretch that out. Here we go. Sling and catch. Back to center. Sling and catch. Back to center, yes you can. Boom, here. Again, if you need a second hand on it, just take it here, come across. You're here, team. And breathe. Take it up. Yes, three, two, one, and relax. All right, team, so with that kettlebell, we're gonna alternate our lunge. So similar to that side lunge, we're gonna hand it off right at the top. So you're here to here. We got 40 seconds. You can hinge a bit forward if you need to. If that doesn't feel right for you, hold the kettlebell at the center and just alternate right through there. Zip it up. Here we go. Regular lunge. Switch at the top. Regular lunge. Yes, you can. And here. Drive it up. Hand it off. And up. Core stays engaged, shoulders to the back, making sure that we're not rounding forward as we get tired, because we're getting close to the end of this workout. Five seconds of the lunge. Can you get one more each side? Right here, boom, and relax. All right, team, let's put them together. I'm gonna go a little heavier, actually, because we only got 30 seconds. Woo! 
I'm gonna feel that. <laughs> I jumped from 12 to 20, but let's do it. Watch me here. Sling and catch into the lunge and drop it back. It's only 30 seconds, so we're only gonna get a few, but I want you to go for it, get the power, stop it with the core, drop in the lunge. Let's do it in three. Give yourself a second. In two, to the side. Here we go. So sling and catch with the core, drop in the lunge, back to center. Sling and catch, whoo, drop in the lunge, back to center. So you stop the movement, kind of similar to a swing. At the top, using the core, contracting all the way through. And here, yes team, five seconds. Here we go, one more. Breathe, and here. I know, right? Shake them out, right through here. We're gonna get the same thing, other side. There's that heart rate, I hope you're feeling it. I know I am. Let's get it done to the other side. Here we go. Sling and catch, Woo! Balance, that's where that core comes in, right? Feeling that balance, and breathe. Hup. Take it here, and up. Take it here, ah! Drive up and through, so close. Five seconds, let's get one more. Breathe, down, and up. Whoo, team, shake that out, just like we did in the beginning. We got those little hamstring curls, stretch to the quads, hip flexors right here. Yes. All right, team. So down on the mat, one quick core. We're just putting it all together for the sake of time because I want to make sure we have time for one more swing. Why not? Dixie, you said something last week. I don't know if it was here or in the other group of you love swings, slings, and snatches, I think. So that might be the title of our next workout. Slings, swings, and snatches. All right, team, we're gonna take it into a high plank. It's just lots of core. If you want, we're gonna pull that kettlebell across. One of my favorite things to do with the kettlebell, you can drag it, kind of a little slide, if that works for your kettlebell and your floor, or you can just pull it across. If that's not right for you, stay on your knees and do the same, or just keep it body weight. Bring it up. Here we go, let's just get 40 seconds. Heart rate should get up either way, but I want a little core focus. We've done lots of stabilizing core, like with that slinger, with a lot of the things that we're doing are clean, but we want a little more focused core right through here. Take it across. Stay strong in those legs. Yes, you're going to move a little bit through the hips, through the back. Take it across. Yes. Boom. Five, four, three, two, stretch. <sighs> we got it all in with that, right? Hit, core, everything. Up onto your feet, team. One more time, we're gonna swing or deadlift. Up to you, your call. So I'm gonna take it up to my 25, why not? Remember, we can usually go heavy on our swings, on our deadlifts, on that lower body. So go for it if that is right for you. We're gonna drive it up, lock it out. Drive it up. Let it drop. Last time, last thing, and then we are cooling it down. We're getting a little stretch. Shoulders back. Wrap that core. Hinge it. Three, two, one. Power. Let it drop. Yes, you can. Up, drop. Lock, drop. Using your breath to know when to lock out, to know when to connect. Here we go. Take it up, take it up, all the way through, shoulders nice and tight, but arms are not moving, you're lifting from the back of the body for five, four, three, two, and one, stretch it out right here, Woo. breathe, ah. Right here, pedal those feet. I like to hang out here with my hands on the kettlebell, but it's up to you if you wanna have hands on your legs or on the floor. 
get that little stretch through the back of the legs with that little pedal. You can even walk it back a little bit. Stretch those shoulders. <sighs> Let's make our way up. Hands on top of the legs. Roll through. Cat, cow, standing. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Again, I know it's a holiday for us in the U.S., so I hope some of you have today off and can relax, especially now after you started your week, your Monday, with this power hit workout. We got lots of strength, lots of power, lots of hit. So whew, I hope that you can relax. Here in sunny Los Angeles, we have a lot of rain. So I don't know what I'm going to do with my kids today, but we'll figure it out. Take it, stretch to the side. And then other side, big stretch, boom. Open it up, thumbs to the back. If you can grab them, grab them. Remember all of these workouts stay up on the channel, so make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure you scroll through, you check out all the other workouts. I'm here live on Mondays. Bree is here on Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you can, pick one foot up. If that's not right for you, just tilt the hip forward. Little quad stretch and open up chest and shoulders. So check out all of our previous lives. Subscribe so you know when our upcoming lives are coming. And if you're interested in our Select Tech kettlebell, which I love, again, you can adjust anywhere from eight to 40 pounds. Our adjustable dumbbells, barbells, cardio equipment, you can find lots of demos and lots of information here on the YouTube channel, and also you can find it at bowflex.com. Thank you for joining me today. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling energized. I'm feeling ready to start the week, and I hope you are too. Thank you, Dixie, Kick Mac, Lori, Sharon, everybody who's here. One big deep breath in and out. Thank you for joining me today. Have a great Monday and a great week, everybody. I'll see you soon.